Hey, hello friends, it's Chris Diamond here at Silver Springs, Florida. Just want to give you a quick tour of my little home base. Uh, come along, let's check it out. Just take a few minutes. Here's the van. We'll do a video of that down the road here. Come on in. Got me a little shed right here. Keep all my goodies and stuff in there. Got a beautiful site right here all palm treed up and shrubbery. It looks real nice. Here's my Benny Jair stream that I call home. 1972, 25 foot overlander. She's still in pretty good shape for almost 50 years old. I just installed a little digital antenna over the air, digital antenna. 45 bucks, I bought it at Walmart, it's a great deal. I pull in about 20 channels for free. Come on over here. Nice sight here. Everything looks good. This is where I call home and spend the winters at, ladies and gentlemen. Over here you can see the back. Got the original hubcaps here. Here's a back view. You can kind of pan around to the right over here to see the park. Beautiful park. Got great neighbors. Everybody's friendly. Cheap living. Wanted to give you a little quick tour and come on over and sit down a little bit and we'll do some chatting. Look up in the window is my baby. I travel with my kitties and my hundred pound dog. Look at them, they're all looking. That's Buddy, Chiefy, there's Duke, Martha's in the back window. <laughs> them are my kids, I love them. Keep me a lot of company out here on the road. <clears throat> so how you guys been during this pandemic and stuff? I'll tell you, it's crazy. But uh, yeah, I'm just here enjoying life. Hoping to get back to things again, you know. And welcome back home to the home base at Silver Springs, Florida. Hey, I'm glad to be back here. I'll tell you, it's uh, been a long summer. I didn't get to do much traveling, you know, because of this pandemic crap. But things are starting to open back up again, so. Did the pandemic affect any of your shows? Uh, yes. I lost about 31 shows over the summer. So it's a good thing I'm rich. Uh-huh. No, but I, I made it through, you know. Thank heaven for the food banks. What upcoming shows do you have scheduled so far this year? Well, October 31st, I'm doing a um, Halloween show. Um, it's down at Blueberry Hill RV Resort in Bushnell, Florida. Uh, it's open to the public if you want to come down from 7 to 9. BYOB and bring your dancing shoes, baby. And I heard you're starting a UFO channel, Talk Across America. Yeah, I'm starting a new channel on YouTube. It's called UFO Talk Across America. Uh, you know, in my 50 years of travel around the country, I've got to see a lot of things and meet a lot of interesting people. And the UFO subject was one of them. And uh, I just thought it'd be interesting to meet people and share some of their sightings and thoughts about the UFOs. So. How long do you plan on continuing? Continuing being in the business? Being in the business. Oh, as long as I can. You know, I'm only 64, so just a baby. I got it's friends that's 85 years old still playing music, so God's been good to me, so I'm going to keep it a rocking, baby. Yeah, you still have a long way to go. I hope, I hope. Yep. What do you think's going to happen during the election? Ooh going to get crazy in the next couple weeks, I got to tell you. You know, it's a, it's a shame everything kind of came but how it is, but it's an election year, you know. I'm a Trump supporter. Uh, I used to work in Trump's casinos and I was treated very, very good and uh, everything was first class. Um, I really don't know Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, but or Kamala Harris, whatever her name is. 
But, you know, whatever happens, happens. What, what can we do about it, you know? Do you ever get tired of living on the road? Uh, no. I love living on the road. That's, I get to meet people and go places. And Why would I want to be stuck in a condo or a house and make huge payments? Why? That, that's crazy, you know? I mean, I could write two books or three books what I've done on the road, you know? And back to the music, who is your favorite artist in songs? Oh, that's pretty easy. Uh, there's a gentleman down in Tarpon Springs, Florida by the name of Bertie Higgins. He's my hero, my best friend, uh, just a great guy. He's really inspired me, you know, over the past 40-some plus years. Um, my favorite song is one he wrote called Come To Me. It's on YouTube. You can check it out. Really a great song. Great person. I love you, Bertie. One final question. Are you ever going to settle down? Settle down? What are you smoking over there? What would I settle down to? It's just... This is my life. I've done this since I've been 14 years old, playing music, traveling, uh, work with a lot of the stars, a lot of celebrities. Um, this is all I know, really. You know, I can't even change a tire, but I can sing you a song. So, <laughs> what else you want to know? Do you think you'll ever get married, have kids? Oh my God! Or work really at, throwing some big questions. Or work out. a normal job? Work a normal job? What's normal? No. I don't know if I ever get married or not. Uh, uh, let me think about it. Well, she'd have to have a lot of money. And, uh, hmm. No, I don't think I'm going to get married. I don't know. Uh, work a normal job? I don't know what normal is. I, I think this is normal. You know? Uh, but if I'm wrong, let me know. Okay, well, that's about it. I'm going to sign off here. I'm heading to Daytona Beach. I only live about 60 miles from the beach. Uh, so I'm going over there and check things out. Go to the Oyster Bar, grab me a bucket of ice-cold long neck Budweiser's. Hey, I wish you was here. Uh, till next time, this is Chris Diamond. Peace out, everybody.